Connecticut Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program works to improve the quality of life and quality of care of Connecticut citizens residing in nursing homes and long-term care facilities through education and advocacy. One of the more empowering resources residents have available to them is what's known as the Resident Council. The federal nursing home reform law passed in 1987 to protect residents offers these resident council guidelines. The facility must provide a resident council with a private space for meetings. The facility, with the approval of the resident council, must make residents aware of upcoming meetings in a timely manner. Resident council meetings are closed to staff, visitors, and other guests. Resident council members may at times, however, choose to invite them. The facility must provide a designated staff who is approved by both the resident council and the facility to provide assistance and respond promptly when there are written requests and grievances from the resident council. Here are some of the benefits of having a resident council. It is a safe space where residents can meet and discuss concerns privately. It makes staff aware of issues that are of high importance to the residents. It helps ensure resident concerns and desires are taken seriously by staff. It empowers residents to participate in decisions that affect their lives. I happen to be the president of the resident council. I started to go to the, the resident council meetings to find out what it was all about to begin with and then hearing concerns and so forth from other people, and then just with my daily lives living around here, you might happen to hear someone talk about something, you can tell them there's someone that you can talk to. Or why don't you come to the meeting, and then you can voice your opinion. There's more help in numbers, so if you're getting together with the group, and on one particular concern, you will hopefully get a better outcome for that situation than it would just be one person. Resident Council provides a resident-directed forum that promotes greater communication and collaboration between residents and staff. Residents typically feel comfortable speaking freely about concerns or issues during council meetings, sharing new ideas and resident requests. Staff appreciate the opportunity to attend Resident Council when requested. The facility administration works with resident council to obtain prompt resolutions to issues or concerns. As ombudsman, we collaborate with residents and facility staff to ensure ongoing success of this vital resource. Here are some helpful best practice guidelines. Resident council best practices. The resident council is governed by bylaws that are unique to each facility and community use the resident council communication form. Residents should be notified in advance about council meetings. Consider sending invitation or posting flyers in facility common areas. Council meetings should be consistent, same day, time, and location each month. Meetings should be accessible to all residents wishing to participate. Some residents may require adaptive technology. Record meetings for those that cannot come in person. Prepare meeting agenda with input from council members and minutes should be taken, reviewed, and approved by council members. Getting results is a big motivator for residents to continue to attend council meetings. Residents view the council as a forum for sharing suggestions, implementing new ideas, and resolving concerns. Everyone wants and needs to feel heard. Recognizing council members who provide helpful solutions and make important contributions to the council will go a long way to ensuring successful, ongoing participation. The Connecticut Long-Term Care Ombudsman Program provides support and services in so many life-changing ways, and we're here to help. Remember, it's about your care, your rights, and your voice. For more information about resident councils, visit ct.gov LTCOP and go to the Resident and Family Councils page.